Hello, my name is Lori Rubin, and I'm going to show you a workaround on how to use the brush feature within the Nick collection without using the selective tool that's no longer supported by Google. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to be sure we're in Photoshop, and we're going to go up into our filter menu here under the Nick collection, and let's go directly into ColorFX Pro 4. So what we're going to do is we're going to select a filter, and I'll choose one that's pretty dramatic so that we can see the difference. And then we're going to paint out a certain area. So here's Indian Summer. And of course, what Indian Summer does is it takes the green foliage and makes it look like it's fall or Indian Summer by converting all the co colors of green into kind of an orange color. So we chose number two. That's pretty dramatic. You can see before and after. And I'm going to go ahead and press the brush little button down here at the bottom right hand corner. Now what's going to come up is a selective tool that uh, has been a really handy feature where we can use the brush tool to erase or maybe we want to fill the entire image. So you'll see here I can go ahead and I can fill the entire image with this particular effect. But if we go into paint or erase, in this case I'm going to go ahead and erase, and I try to erase a certain area, as soon as I let go of that cursor I'm going to get an error message. I'll press OK. I'll press OK again. And so this will keep coming up as I'm going through the brush feature here. So what I'd like to do is I'll go ahead and just discard the selective tool. And I'll go ahead and show you a different workaround directly within Photoshop. So let's go back under Filter, Nick Collection, choose ColorFX Pro 4. And we'll use the same filter effect as well. So we're back into Indian Summer. Now instead of choosing the brush feature, let's just go ahead and press OK. Now as long as it saves it in a layer, what we're going to do is we'll be able to erase, we can fill, we can do all those things that we use in that selective tool, but we'll use the Photoshop tools to do it. OK, so here's our Indian Summer filter. You can see there's before and there's after. Now you want to make sure that the layer with the Color Effects Pro filter is actually selected. Go down at the bottom here and select Add Layer Mask. Okay, so you should see this layer mask right here. All right, now the next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that our foreground and background colors are selected. So in this case, I want black for the foreground color, white for the back. So the black is actually going to erase. So I'll take my brush here, and of course I can choose the opacity or change the flow, etc. And let's just go ahead and start erasing. Same kind of tool, same kind of look that we got with the Nick Selective tool, but this time when I let go, I'm not going to get any errors. And you can see over here, that's what happened. So this is uh, before and that's after. So it's as simple as that. Again, just make sure that when you use any of the Nick Collection software, that you are in layers. And then you can just uh, add a layer mask here. If you want to erase, it's going to be black. If you want to add a color, your layer mask should be black. And then it's just the opposite. The foreground color becomes um, white. That'll be just the opposite. So it's a simple way to use a brush feature and I hope that helps.